Hello everyone, I'm going to play some movie for a joke, so I'm gonna make another save file, and I'm gonna play my favorite level, no cheese, and I'm gonna go through the entire level, noting all the ways that it is the best tutorial that has ever existed in uh, Spongebob, ever. So, okay, first of all, before you even control Spongebob, He's facing the camera. This is to convey that you're playing as Spongebob. You see, every other level has you facing away from the camera, but this one has you facing towards the camera to make it very obvious that that you're Spongebob. And and then you and then you start moving and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is this is crazy, like, what are these coin things? And they put this road here to convey that you have to, like, go on the road. It's like, holy crap, man. Like, insane. And then you get this, like, fork in the road with, like, water and a staircase. And this is done to con to teach the player that, hey, water kills you. And this is also to teach you how to jump. Like, you cannot get past this part without jumping. And if you're somehow stupid enough... To fall in the water, there is a burger called a Krabby Patty that the game gives you. So, you teach you about, like, like health. And, and then you get this big old patch of grass. Um, I don't know why this patch of grass is here, but this next platforming section is very important because it teaches the, the, the player, the stupid five-year-old, how to jump over a gap without, like, a big penalty yeah uh, uh, so you go over here and you just like you just like jump and like it just works like wow and then you do it again amazing 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 and then you get like this like intro cutscene with your favorite blob patrick and he and this and, and then he gets mad and then he and then he hits the, 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 the thing, he hits the jellyfish. And it teaches the player that, hey, jellyfish hurt you and you should kill them. D don't catch them in a net, just fucking kill them. A and then, and then like, you, 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 you hit them. It's, it, it's genius. It's, it, it's genius. And then you get, and then you get the sequence with the, with the slide. And they put, like, a shiny object up here in the air to teach you that, oh yeah, you can jump on those slides. And it even gives you a teleport box to, to try again, in case you miss. And then they have, like, this button here, and it teaches you that the karate spin can also press buttons. It's, it's amazing. Like, and then this part here teaches you about, like, timing puzzles and how you have to, like, get on platforms in time, and then... And then here it, like, puts all your skills to the test, because now you have to jump and attack enemies. So now they're all- they're already, like, expanding the difficulty of the game. It's amazing. They put even another burger here. It is great. And then you get this big wall of threatening wooden crates, and you, you can't get past them. You just- you just can't. Shut up, Mindy. You just can't. You can't get by! So, like, you cannot get past this big wall without breaking them. So the player has to figure out that you gotta bust the blocks open with the karate spin. It, it, it's genius. It's genius. And then they expand it even more because, like, they put, like, a button in the air. So it, like, tells the player, hey, you can spin in the air. It's genius. It's genius, oh my gosh, and then they got this big old wall jumping section, teaches you how to wall jump. And then like, oh my god, you get this like, big old wall here, it's like, oh, what do I do? Oh yeah, bust it open with, with, with the spin move, and then, and then you, you just, you just, you just, uh, oh, just, you make it to the end, and it's great, it's great, and then, token, oh my god, tokens are so shiny and cool, oh my god. This is the best tutorial ever, and then it fades to black and...